The blue green rivalry was renewed tonight at Mustang Memorial Field. UC Santa Barbara in town looking for a clean sweep of the Cal Poly men's soccer team. UCSB won in the opening meeting between the two squads, defeating Cal Poly two to nothing. Cal Poly sits in third place in Big West standings and are on a four game unbeaten streak. Meanwhile, the Gauchos are coming off of a one nothing loss to Cal State Bakersfield. The Mustangs looking for a win as they've lost eight straight matchups, including three at home against UCSB. Their last win against the Gauchos coming in a one nothing victory in September of 2018. Kids were out today, ready to cheer on the Mustangs, all tied up with donuts on the board for either side. This is what the night looked like for Cal Poly. Wasted opportunities that just did not meet the net as Cal Poly seemed to have possession most of the game, but just did not have an answer for defenders in the box. A penalty kick for Cal Poly. An Emory Rappaport with the headbutt, but it is way out of bounds. Another missed opportunity. Here's where the game picked up for Team Blue. Lucas Gonzalez assisted by Salvador Aguilar. The first goal of the night for either side and UCSB has a 1-0 lead in the 81st minute. Next play, Poly in possession. The shot on goal. Is no good. Leroy Zeller with the save. The second attempt is out of bounds. Final minute of play in the game. Polly's still in possession. They are pushing, but time runs out before a shot attempt is made. And UCSB comes out victorious at Mustang Memorial Field Sunday night. The Mustangs are now 0-9 in their last nine matchups against the Gauchos. UCSB now climbs the ladder in Big West standings, jumping to second. With 13 points, Cal Poly falls to fifth with eight points. The top six programs in the 10-team Big West table qualify for the Big West championship with the top two sides receiving opening round buys. Poly heads to UC Irvine Wednesday. Then they follow up with the top two Big West teams in Cal State Fullerton and Cal State Bakersfield for their final two games of the season.